Hey, I got an early access screener. So this is your review of The Post. Starring Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, and of course directed by the great Steven Spielberg. Uh, the story follows Kate Graham, the publisher of The Post at the time of the Pentagon Papers. These are the, the cl series of classified documents from the Vietnam War that consist of hundreds of you know documents that chronicled the United States observance and subsequent military action of Vietnam, uh, which was collected as early as 1945, though. So the these, the, the files become the object of the desire for somebody named Daniel Ellsberg, too. He's a military analyst um, for who winds up getting a hold of them and releasing them, causing both the New York Times and then the then really small-time Washington Post to fight over the documents in hopes to uh, obtain them for publication in their respective papers. So the, so the film follows, like I said, Kate Graham. It was the publisher of the Post, uh, played by Meryl Streep. She bears the burden of being the first female publisher in the history of American journalism, uh, as well as being the shot caller when it comes to deciding whether or not to publish the Pentagon Papers. Uh, her main confidant in the film is Ben Bradley, played by Tom Hanks. He's the editor in chief of the Washington Post. He kind of hawks over the newsroom uh, and the bunch of other ensemble of faces in there. You have Tracy Letts from Lady Bird. You have Bob Odenkirk. Uh, you have Matthew Rez. You have Bruce Greenwood. There's a ton of uh, familiar faces here. Uh, Bradley Whitford as well from Get Out is in the film. So there's a lot of familiar faces in this too. So the film really chronicles like the time sensitive specifics, okay, of whether or not to publish the Pentagon Papers, what the repercussion is going to be for the Washington Post if they are published, so on and so forth. Now, of course, there's a time sensitive aspect of the Post coming out during a time of sort of intense uh, modern America. American journey on the press. There's a lot of skepticism. Journalism uh, in the germ it's very germane to the fake news era too as well. So that it is one of the most uh, relevant issues facing the United States right now is the trust in the media. I've always said too, like America was built to survive a president. It wasn't built in a way where the public by and large could not trust the press and the people that are giving them the news. So the film goes as far as to make itself very timely and writing conscious. It's obviously, the post is obviously going to be billed as like the quote-unquote sister film to the Oscar winner Spotlight. Uh, and I love Spotlight. I thought Spotlight was a really good film. That was, of course, the film about the the um, the cover-up that entailed of the archdiocese, the archdiocese uh, sexual abuse scandal as well, and how a newspaper tried to combat that. It was the Boston Globe, I believe, that tried to com um, combat that as well. So it's a very... That's a very good film, Spotlight, with Michael Keaton, directed by Tom McCarthy. Loved that movie. Thought it was a very good movie because it really detailed the journalistic process. The Post is a little bit too much, too much on the nose. More. Spotlight. Everything feels kind of neatly gift wrapped in the stereotypical sort of textbook Spielberg way that gives you exactly what you were going when you you were you, exactly what you were going to get what you thought you were going to get in the very way that you predicted you were going to get it. Uh, it's very mannered. It's very theatrical, uh, and it doesn't have a lot of surprise to it. I I, I also I'll, I'll tell you right now. I saw it a month ago. Do have to kind of strain to think about the details of this movie too, because outside of Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks, it's kind of airless. There's you know the Streep and Hanks are two of the best actors of our time. Meryl Streep gets nominated; she could star in a car commercial and get nominated for an Oscar. Uh, she'll obviously get an Oscar nomination for this. Tom Hanks as well. Uh, they're great actors. If there's any reason I can recommend seeing this though, it's because Streep, Hanks, and Spielberg are a trifecta of talent. They're some of the best that we have in Hollywood right now. Um, and really, Spielberg's directorial craft is on full display here. He's got choreographed movements of the actors. There's, there's a stone-faced tone at times. There's a moody aesthetic to this movie as well. There's a lot here. I mean, it's a very interesting, uh, compellingly made picture in that way. But it's kind of unfortunate at the end of the day to note that the post really culminates, has a lot of moments that culminate in succession to give us a story that's common knowledge. And it's told with the angles and emphasis that we expect. Uh, and the factor of timeliness really is about the only relevant thing that this movie has going for it. Uh, there's a couple, there's a lot of also uh, third act sort of conveniences, I guess you could say, uh, that it, 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 the movie sort of realizes, Spielberg kind of realizes too, that like you can't 
cover two major American scandals in one film, so the post kind of leaves off on a somewhat unfinished note. Makes me wonder if there's going to be a continuation at times. I'll leave it at that. But the, 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 it's not the fact that the movie's too timely, but it so consistently measures up, though, to what you think it's going to be. Like, consider another movie like Get Out, okay? I know this is kind of an odd example, but bear with me here. I'm full of odd examples. Uh, Jordan Peele's movie Get Out, that caught me off guard in the ways that it managed to be, like, very relevant and how it managed to defy even very optimistic expectations. It was also a movie that took race, a common topic in movies, usually portrayed in the past and propelled it into the present and made us confront the demons right here, right now, in the present, in a contemporary context. The post is topical and unsurprising in the way it handles the present-day connections, but the great part of a timely movie is connecting the dots while watching it yourself. That's the problem the post has. You know going into it it's going to be timely. You know that it's it takes a lot of conveniences from present day. I don't find that very brave, to be honest. I like a movie that either makes me have to recognize myself that it's timely uh, in a different way as it kind of goes on, or I like a movie that kind of takes a hypothetical or a theoretical idea and morphs it into fit modern context. The post is satisfactory. Hank Streep and uh, Spielberg are terrific. They're great talents. But overall, it's a it's an average movie made to seem above average within the context that we are currently at and the crossroads we are at with media and American journalism right now. I give The Post two and a half out of four stars. I think it's an okay film. I think it's it, it's worth seeing in some aspects, but I also think that this film is ripe for being overpraised just because of the time period it is coming out. Two and a half out of four stars for The Post opens Friday, January 12th.